So this is where now I'll go through and I'll nudge the harmony notes up or down so that it fits with the main vocal properly. So we're getting close. Let me, let me play you the actual harmony recorded unmixed and that was based off of that piano roll. This is video four of my pro records from home series and I want to share some methods for getting pop punk and emo style harmonies into your songs. It's what I do to get harmonies into my choruses that sound like this. Let's hear that in solo. I'm giving up Even the thoughts in my head I've surrendered So I'm by no means naturally gifted. I can't hear a harmony and just sing it. So I get around that by being logical and working out my harmonies ahead of time. The first thing that I'll do is plot out the main vocal on a piano roll. I just use grand piano, but, but back when I was recording in a studio with other producers, they would sometimes use some 80 synths, something that had a, the right kind of feel for, for pitching your vocals to. So it's entirely up to you what you use. But what I'll do first to sort of get the rough rhythm and, and melody is I'll actually bring up the keyboard within Logic. And then if you have a MIDI track set to record enable and the something loaded up in the sampler, you can actually play using your keyboard, you can play the piano. Obviously, if you have a MIDI keyboard or something like that, you can use that, but this is um, this is something anyone with Logic can use. I'm sorry, I don't know if Pro Tools or any other DAWs have it, but I'm sure there's a, a free way of getting something like this out there. So with the instrumental playing, I would start to roughly just plot in the melody line, and then from there we can fine tune it so that it's in the right place, the melody's right, and the rhythms are right. But this gets you a good starting point. So something like this. So yeah, play that back. That's roughly a very stilted and dry piano version of these vocals. So I'll go through and I'll play it as best I can. It does take me a while to sort of learn it and figure out the notes. And eventually I'll end up with something like this. So I'm liking my Blue Peter style. Here's one I made earlier. So let's listen to one that I made earlier. There's a bit quick, so I'll move that one over. Great. So now that you have that plotted out, you can copy and paste that and shift those notes up to what I think is quite a common harmony to put into pop punk and emo. So let's copy this down to the harmony guide track, and then I will select all, and then move it up. Okay, so we're close. This is where now I'll go through and I'll nudge the harmony notes up or down so that it fits with the main vocal properly. I don't overthink it. I do it by ear. I know you can get into the nitty gritty of the theory. And if that's you, a oh, great, I'm jealous. But for me, I just go through and do it by ear until it feels right. We're getting close. Now that sounds weird. There we go. So like that, I'll go through everything, nudge those notes up or down slightly until it starts to lock in. And you can you can hear when it locks in and when it doesn't. It sounds weird and off. And then when you get that note right, 
like you just saw, you, you know you've got that note right. So Blue Peter style, here's one I made earlier again. And this is how I've gone through and made sure that every note of the harmony sits in the right place in relation to the main melody. So yeah, you get the idea. Then what I'll do, I won't stick to that religiously necessarily. It'll just give me somewhere to start singing. So that when I'm recording the harmony, I know roughly where about it wants to be. And, I know, and I'll do a few takes and sort of work my way into it. Feel it out a bit more. It's a bit more human and less, uh, uh, uh. I will admit back when I first started doing this, all of my vocals were based off of piano rolls like this. And it just killed the performance. So it's a good starting point but don't live and die by it. So it'd be good practice to sort of play the harmony through, ignoring the, um, so like muting the main vocal, so you get a good feel of where it, where it is. So that when you come to sing it, you know, it, it, it's in your head. Let me, let me play you the actual harmony recorded, unmixed, and that was based off of that piano roll. So you can see I didn't stick to it completely. I felt it out a bit. I gave it some performance. But it all started from being overly boring and overly logical, plotting out that melody line, plotting out the harmonies and, and painstakingly moving each note until it was in the right place, just to give my brain a place to start. And as you can see here, I'd actually done that for all different parts of the song, different lines through the verses. You know, I tried different bits. Sometimes I'd harmonize the entire song and then cut out bits I don't want. It's just a great starting point to get your, to get your brain cells firing. I'm not a scientist. I don't know if that's what brain cells do. Probably not. And of course, you can do the same thing with a lower harmony. I, lo I love sticking in lower harmonies too. So drop that main vocal line down on the piano roll until it starts to, to lock in and, um, and use that to, to make your song sound the way you want. And just quickly, if you make music like this, and you'd like me to mix your next production, your next release, head over to terrybeckleyrecording.com. My portfolio is on there. If you scroll down to the contact page, message me there. I will get back to you. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you want to see more of this Try Records from Home or any of the other pop punk and emo mixing recording tutorials that I've, that I've done. And I'll see you at the next one.